So an intern at the Mad Decent offices was playing one of his songs while I was downstairs in the studio and I heard them playing it, so I ran up. I thought it was a new Post Malone song or something. And then they showed me Young Pinch, which funny enough, now he's on tour with Post Malone. I just loved his whole vibe. The music video was awesome and it was all like DIY. I don't know, it's, I can relate to it because it's not like hardcore hip hop where it's like, you know, going to a club and popping a bottle and you know, throwing money everywhere. I hit him up on Twitter and uh, asked if he wanted to make a song and then I went to his studio and I, I gave him like 10 demos and he wrote to two of them. It took so long for us to actually put the song out just because I was working on so much other stuff. And then finally towards the end of the year when I was done touring and everything, I was able to do that with him and hello there, just, yeah, it was the one. He's a Shutterstock image. He lives online. The creative directors that I work with, Pizza Slime, we've been working together since the beginning of my career. And uh, they were the ones that pitched the idea of Pineapple Man. And then we all came up with the Snipe campaign together. It was so hard to get hellothere.com. We tried so hard, but, uh, but then we got hellothere.org, which I feel like kind of makes it look like it's a, either a, a website for dating um, or a learning website. <laughs> Whoever owns hellothere.com, I hate you so much. I asked so many times to buy that f***ing domain. I even offered like two grand. Did they reject it? They didn't reject, they didn't even say anything. Cause they're people who don't answer nice people trying to pay for domains. Anyways, next question. No, just. <laughs> I just, I really wanted it to be kind of like, you, you're like, who is this guy? Who is it? Like, what, what is this guy? What does he want? Why is he eating a pineapple? Why is he smiling like that? I think he's just happy because he's listening to the song. <laughs> That's the whole, ver like the whole point of the song is just to listen to it and like be really happy. Physical CDs don't exist anymore. So covers don't really matter that much because you won't see it but it, it matters in the sense of, of it being really eye grabbing. So that's why we went with it was just like, we thought that you know if you see it in a lineup of songs, you're gonna be like, wait, why? Okay, I gotta check that out. Uh, the one thing that we kept saying was, um, <laughs> just cause like eating is so popular online, we kept, it is, it is, okay? And also the, the, the model that just was talking about eating a Does everyone remember that? What's her name? In the back? Mike? You don't remember, you don't remember the name? Al Alania Golgosko? So, I forgot her name, but she did a whole thing where she was talking about dudes should be doing that. I don't. Okay. First, I never have, don't want to, but um, <laughs> but we kept, we kept wanting to do the, I didn't do it, but we wanted to keep like, doing the snipe campaign of like, this guy definitely eats that <laughs> So maybe there's some meme there that's like, I hope someone, I, the thing is you can't, I can't make the memes. The memes have to come from other people on the internet. I think the song lives a little bit higher up than, than the meme part of it. But I'm hoping that someone, you know, makes a better meme than, than I just did. Cause um, I think mine wasn't that good. <laughs> and also a lot of people are staring at me right now for talking about eating <laughs> for so long. Okay. <laughs> Let me get the names. I'll tell you all the names. So the blonde lady in the wig, her name is Sadie Jackson. And she plays, uh, she's an, a famous actress who is known for Tech Ladies, Tech Ladies 2. Uh, that's just me, Dylan Francis. I need help because of all my multiple personality disorder. Just me and the directors going back and forth. <laughs> There's Ellington Tootsie, who is the co-host. There's a dancer named uh, Thaddeus Jackson. The house band is me playing with Young Pinch, and I'm Brandon Frampton. And then there's a grandma that's in the crowd of, of people, and she's Grandma Franny. And then there's a chef named Dylan Frances. Cue card guy that's me as well, and his name is Randall. And then there's a camera guy named Gary.
It was really fun, but it was so time consuming just because get into one costume, then have to go right back out, take off all the makeup, put on either mustaches or, or whatnot, and then go back out, shoot it. They have to make sure they're keying the frames correctly. But it's, it's my favorite thing to do. I love making music videos. It's just so much fun for me. It was so much fun. James wrote the show fully out, and then each time we would do the shots, he'd be like, just do whatever you want. You know, we already got the one shot that we need, so everybody can just do improv. And most of the improv stuff that we did got to make it onto the actual show, which doesn't usually happen since it was such an experimental group of people. It was just, I don't know, it was just so much fun. I am working on it now. I've been working since November of last year. It's all in Spanish. I did it before Despacito. I'm working with uh, Jimena Sariana, Archangel, this guy Yashua. My manager came up with the idea where he was like, man, we should go back and actually work with Spanish artists. Because the, the first song that I ever really got big for, there was two songs. One was Massive Blaster and then one was KK with Maluka Mala. That was a song that I produced with Diplo and she was speaking Spanglish in it. So it was kind of just like going back to the roots and then, but making it, you know, more about featuring young artists from Mexico or from Dominican Republic and trying to, to really showcase that music. I speak very little Spanish, and that's the reason why I wanted to do the project so much is because if I'm ever in a studio session working with a, a, a singer and they ask me what to sing, I f every time. I tell them the wrong thing to say and I'll always leave the studio and be like, why did I do that? So now I can't f the what they're singing about and then they can kind of do that and I, I'm way better with melodies so I can help them be like oh we should do a harmony right here it's a really fun exercise of, of production that that I never have done before hey guys thanks for watching make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist and while you're here check out these other videos